Okay, we're now going to create a moon for one of the planets and we're going to create a ring for another. So, I'm going to start by working on this first planet and I'm going to just press F to frame that up. I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to move the new one out. I'm going to call it moon. And then I'm going to scale that down so that it's really small. It should be something like 0 0.02, like that. I'm just going to make that look like it's in orbit of that planet there. Okay, so that's the moon done, nice and straightforward. The ring is actually going to start off as a torus, which is this little chappy here that looks an awful lot like a donut. So I'm going to click on that. There it is. And then we need to make some changes. So the section radius needs to be 0 0.2. So we're working under the inputs here, um, like so. And what that does is just makes it kind of like a thinner tube. The height on the y-axis, so scale y, needs to also be 0 0.2. And you can see if we were making a um, ring for the sun, that would already be perfect. But we're not, we're making it for one of the planets. So what I need to do now is position it around one of the planets, and I'm going to choose this one. And the, there are lots of different ways again that you could position this but I want to make sure that this ring is exactly positioned around this planet so the way to do that is to look what the values are for translate x and I can see they're 4.955 so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to copy it in fact I'll just remember it 4.955 and I'm going to click on the ring I'm going to put in 4.955 and then press enter and now I know that that is perfectly positioned around the planet that it should be. All I need to do then is scale it uniformly until it looks like it is the right scale. Which I'm happy with that. That's beautiful. And then I'll rename that ring. Okay, in the next step we're going to put this into a hierarchy so that it's ready for animation.